Hi guys, welcome to Metabox Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to add featured images and thumbnail images to a taxonomy using Metabox and Oxygen Builder. We often use these features in a portfolio page, like in my demo site here. This is a list of my terms in a taxonomy. Each term is about an accommodation type with its own thumbnail. And here is the archive page of each term. As you can see, there is a large featured image on the top. Let's find out how I created these thumbnails and featured images for a taxonomy. Here are the needed plugins. First, we need custom fields to input images for the taxonomy, so I installed Metabox Core plugin from WordPress.org. Secondly, Metabox AIO. It's available in the Ultimate Bundle and Lifetime Bundle of Agency and Personal Plan of Metabox. It includes all the Metabox extensions in this list. Just enable the extension you want. Obviously, we need a taxonomy, so remember to activate MB Custom Post Type and Custom Taxonomy. And in my case, I'm creating a taxonomy for a custom post type, so this extension also helps me with that. Then, MB Term Meta to add custom fields created with Metabox to a custom taxonomy. MB Views to get data and display values of custom fields on the front end. And the last one, Metabox Builder. Thanks to it, we can create custom fields with an intuitive UI right in the back end. That's all for Metabox. And here, I have Oxygen Builder. It's used to display the thumbnails and featured images on the front end. Make sure that you install the 3.9 version to have the native integration with Metabox. After activating all these tools, let's move to the how to parts. Now, we're creating a new custom post type. I name it Portfolio and publish. Here it is, on the menu. Then, let's create a new taxonomy. I name it as portfolio type. In the post type tab, choose portfolio to apply this taxonomy for the portfolio post type. You can see the portfolio type taxonomy I just created here. But there has been no place to input featured images for each term yet. So we're doing it right now. Here I'm creating two custom fields. One is URL and another is single image. They're both for people to input images. You can choose one of them, or both are fine. With the URL field, you can insert image links so that your site won't carry those images. While the single image field lets you upload images to the media library. By that way, your site may load faster. But if you have a lot of terms, and you need high-quality images, it may affect your server. Besides, remember the IDs of these fields to use in the next step. In the Settings tab, choose Taxonomy for the location, and select the taxonomy that you've just created. That will assign these fields to the taxonomy you want. Now, go to the Portfolio Type Editor page, the custom fields for images appear there. You can insert an URL here or you can choose an image from the media library here, or even upload one. So, we have images for the taxonomy, let's display them on the front end. To do it, we're using MB Views to create template and put it into the portfolio page. In the template tab, add this code. Here I create some classes for styling later. This is to declare the args variable with the data taken from the taxonomy that has the slug as portfolio type. This is used to pass the return data of the args variable to this portfolio's variable. This loop will list all the terms of the taxonomy. They will create image upload and image URL variables to take the value of the fields that have these IDs from the corresponding terms. Because I have two custom fields that all can be thumbnails, while a term can have only one. I have to set a rule to choose just one. If this variable has value, it means that I upload an image. Then, it will create this variable to get the link of that image. And this code will get the image's link of the corresponding term. To display the image, we have this code. Otherwise, if I don't upload any images, it will receive the value of the image URL to display images. 
How about if I don't upload any images or insert any URL to the fields? This will display a default image from this link. And of course, you can choose any default image you want. Next, this displays the name of the terms. This displays the description of the terms. Finally, this code shows view more texts, and place the link of the corresponding post into it. So, when people hover over a thumbnail of a post, the texts will appear, and they can click to read more. After adding the code, just select shortcode here, so that after publishing, your template is saved as a shortcode, and you can use it to display the template anywhere on your website. Now, we're going to display the list of the terms in the portfolio type with Oxygen. First, create a new page, or you can use an existing page, and click Edit Template. Now, click Add and choose the shortcode component. Paste the shortcode of the view here, it's displayed immediately here, with the thumbnails. To make it look better, I will add some CSS in the CSS tab of the view. It looks much better now, isn't it? So we've done with the thumbnails. Move to step 5 to deal with featured images. I already have an archive page for each term of the taxonomy. But there haven't been any featured images for it yet, so I will create one at the top. Click here, and visit the visual editor of Oxygen. Next, select a term to preview it. I'll choose Apartment. After clicking this, I can see the structure of my page here. I'm adding a component named Code Block, and drag and drop it to the section, above the DIV. Then, select PHP and HTML and add this code. Let me explain it a bit before moving on. This will get the list of the term from the taxonomy that has this ID. This is used to get the custom field's value of the corresponding terms. The logic of this part is quite similar to the code of the view in step 4. They set a rule to show which image from the custom fields. And it checks which archive page of which term that users are in. This displays images from the links that are returned from this variable. This displays the name of the corresponding term that users are in. And similarly, display the description of the corresponding term. And here is the result. If you want your featured images to look like what I've shown in the beginning of this video, add some CSS. Save it. Now, it's much more beautiful. Let's check other terms in the portfolio. They all have featured images. So we've done. What do you think? If you don't want to use a page builder as I did, you can watch other tutorials on our channel. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our tutorial. Bye.